Hello. Our topic for today's lesson is Percentages, Fractions, and Decimals. Lesson duration remains 5 minutes. Let's check out the lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to 1. Understand the meaning of percentages. 2. Convert fractions to percentages and vice versa. 3. Convert percentages to decimals and vice versa. 4. Know the relationship between fractions, decimals, and percentages. Please pay attention as we go through the lesson together. Percentages A percentage is a number that represents a fraction of 100. It is often represented by the symbol, percent. Percentages are also used to describe parts of a whole, as shown in the diagram below. Where Pink color is 30% Yellow color is 25% Green color is 15% Purple color is 25% and blue color is 10%. All these parts sums up to give a whole of 100%. Now, let's see how to convert fractions to percentages. To convert fractions to percentages, we simply multiply the fractions by 100. Let's see some examples. Convert the following fractions to percentages. 1. 7 over 25. 2. 9 over 20. Solution. 1. 7 over 25. Multiplying the fraction by 100. 7 times 100 divided by 25. This equals 28%. 2. 9 over 20. Multiplying the fraction by 100. 9 times 100 divided by 20. This equals 45%. That's brilliant. Now, let's see how we can convert percentages to fractions. A percentage is a fraction with 100 as its denominator. Now, to convert a percentage to a fraction, we simply divide the number by 100. Then we reduce the fraction to its lowest term. Let's see some examples. Convert the following percentages to fractions. 1. 25% 2. 20% Solution 1. 25% Dividing the number by 100 equals 25 over 100. Now, to reduce to the lowest term, we divide through by 25, which gives us 1 over 4. 2. 20% Dividing the number by 100 equals 20 over 100. Now, to reduce to the lowest term, we divide through by 20, which gives us 1 over 5. That's brilliant. Now, let's see how we can convert percentages to decimals. To convert percentages to decimals, we first divide the percentage by 100 to get the decimal number. Let's see some examples. Convert the following percentages to decimals. 1. 20% 2. 71% Solution 1. 20% Remember that we divide the percentage by 100. Therefore, 20 divided by 100 gives us 0 0.2. 2. 
71%. Remember that we divide the percentage by 100. Therefore, 71 divided by 100 gives us 0.71. That's brilliant. Now, let's see how we can convert decimals to percentages. To convert decimals to percentages, we simply multiply the decimal by 100. Let's see some examples. Convert the following decimals to percentages. 1. 0.58 2. 0.12 Solution 1. 0.58 Multiplying the decimal by 100. 0.58 times 100. This equals 58%. 2. 0.12 Multiplying the decimal by 100. 0.12 times 100. This equals 12%. That's brilliant. Now, let's see the relationship between fractions, decimals, and percentages. Decimals and percentages are related because they are both fractions. Let's see an example. Relate. 7 over 25 to a decimal and then to a percentage solution 7 over 25 to decimal equals 7 divided by 25 this gives us 0 0.28 7 over 25 to percentage equals 7 times 100 divided by 25 this gives us 28%. Therefore, 7 over 25 in fraction equals 0 0.28 in decimal and 28% in percentage. That's wonderful. Assignment. Pause the video, copy the following assignments, and write the answers in your notebook. In summary, we have learned the following in this lesson. 1. The meaning of percentage. 2. How to convert fractions to percentages and vice versa. 3. How to convert percentages to decimals and vice versa. 4. The relationship between fractions, decimals, and percentages. I believe you enjoyed this lesson, see you in our next one. Thanks. And goodbye.